So it's day 11, today I'm making my way to one of my favourite cities, San Sebastian. Uh, it's really windy, I'm in the high, well, in the hillside farm, after Oreo, not like the biscuit. And again, another beautiful day, and it shouldn't be too difficult this one, so hopefully I'll be in San Sebastian with enough time to play on the beach again. This is a very difficult ascent from basically zero to 295 meters in a couple of, in a few kilometers. And it's steep. So for most people this is a nice downhill towards the end of the day. For me it's a bloody great lump in the middle. <laughs> so I'm closing in on San Sebastian. And I've passed lots and lots and lots of pilgrims already today. You feel like the buzz as you're getting towards like the, one of the main hubs. I think it's only a few more kilometers. It's hard to believe this is the same countryside that I was in a minute ago. It's got all dry. It's how I imagine Madrid would look like if it had a sea next to it. Let's see if I can drink this water. Oh, look. <laughs> Very good. Drinkable water. <laughs> Fantastic. I find this quite difficult, actually. It's really hot, but like sort of sticky, cloying hot. Bit of wind. I mean, it's beautiful, as you can see. I think also because I know San Sebastian is just out of reach and I really want to get there, it's making it int interminable. Now I know for a fact that on the other side of that is my destination. Viola. Una palabra para describir el camino. Una palabra. El camino es importante. Hay que seguir haciendo. Una palabra. Importante. Importante. Monsieur Francés, un mot para describir el camino. Por describir el camino. Eso. Una palabra. Un mot. Un mot. Ah. Un mot. C'est surprise tous les jours. There we go. Perfect. It's my last day on the Camino del Norte. I have about 27 kilometers to Irún, and I've just left my favorite city, San Sebastián. And I feel kind of strange because this is the last day. So on the one hand, I'm going to have to leave behind all the beaches, all the green and the cows and the farms, which is my favorite thing, and the mountains. But on the other hand, I'm going to start the Frances, and I'll finally have some friends. <laughs> so here we go, last day. This is quite brilliant. No health and safety, no nothing, just pure, wild countryside. I don't really know where I am. I mean, I know I'm on the, one of the mountains as you leave San Sebastian. And it's all getting confusing because there are no markings and there's loads of paths. So I'm hoping that Google and my own ingenuity will get me out of this place. So after my third spell of being lost, I'm now on the right track and it's beautiful. All There's like heather and ferns and they're all reds and golds and oranges and greens. It's bloody lovely. Check it out. Isn't that nice? Quite a severe way to spend my last day. Weather, weather changed a bit. Uh, I've got quite a long way to go, like 17 kilometers and I have half a pack of almonds and half a bottle of water. Didn't really pl plan this one through. Jeez, and my left foot really hurts. So I just passed a few pilgrims that 
appeared like ghosts from the mist and they told me I've got about 14 kilometres to 17 kilometres left. It's cats and dogs o'clock here. Uh, slightly worried. <laughs> really wet. Uh, I'd like to say I'm having the time of my life right now, but you got to laugh, haven't you? There's a momentary break in the heaviest of the rain. I passed seeing a few pilgrims. Uh, it kind of makes me a bit happier. Get some information. A couple of hours away, maybe. No towns. I don't know. I was singing Frank Sinatra songs, all the ones I knew, just to keep my mind off... Uh, the ridiculous rain, but now the worst of it is over, I think. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the what? Eh, plain? Eh, wrong answer. Mountains. Loads of it. It's never ending, the rain. It's very attractive, this part, though. It's all sort of reds and new saplings, which are very green. Uh, I haven't eaten yet. And it's about, hang on. Oh one o'clock because there's literally nowhere anywhere approaching a little bit dry where I can put my bag down and get some food out. The moment I take this poncho off I'm soaked. So hopefully I need to find somewhere with a bit of dry. Ow. So I've come out of the woods and there it is my destination. I think that's on the Rivia. Irun is next door and the other side is France. Uh, so I did it. <laughs> I completed the north stage. Well done me. Now I need a shower and a drink.